I'm Lee Aridium. Hope you're doing all right today. It's reaction time. We're going back in time to 1990 and we've got Baton Rouge or Rouge Walks Like a Woman. So this come off the album Shake Your Soul. Um, and this was a recommendation from Matthias, who has been recommended quite a bit lately. So he says, I'm going to love this. I hope so. So, <laughs> so American, like I said, they only had two albums out. So perhaps Sign of the Times, 1990, this runs from. Um, I tried to find some info on the band who was in the band at the time. There's a big fuck-off list of past members. Um, the only one I can really find that was for sure <laughs> on this track was Kelly Keeling, I think his name was, in vote on the vocals. But I didn't want to really guess at anyone else. So I've just, I'm going to name him. Obviously, there's lots of other band members. And also, I chose this one. He gave me three choices. I chose this one because this looks like the one with the video. Looks like it's actually got a video. Although, when I was finding it and looking at the video quickly, because I only listened to a few seconds, because uh, it has to be a first-time reaction, um, the video looks a bit blurry, to say the least. So it's quite old, isn't it? 1990. But there you go. I'm sure we can make it out. So, this is Baton Rouge. Walks like a woman. Here we go. Oh, MTV. <laughs> what the fuck happened to MTV? Expects is brilliant, isn't it? It's, it's another brilliant song from that forgotten era of melodic hard rock. I mean, 1990. It just shows you, doesn't it? I mean, I've said it before. All these wild old ones I've reacted to, I've loved them all. And um, you know, at that time in 1990, I mean, I was even me. I was getting into that. I did get into the grunge scene, so it took me away. Mind you, 1990. That's just around the corner. At 91, it really started the grunge bit. But it just shows you all the bands that what would have happened if I just stayed with those bands through them years. I don't know because, I mean, Dom says to me on the All Killer when I feel bad about all the bands that I've missed out on, or, you know, all the great bands and albums that came out. It's just one of those things. It wasn't, you know, it was 1990. It wasn't like the internet now, is it? Where you can just search things for melodic hard rock, new, new music, and you'll get thousands of them. Like back in 1990, that wasn't a possibility. So if you didn't hear about the bands, um, Dom worked in a record store, so it probably helped him out. But me, myself, I was into the stuff that was being advertised at the time and all the stuff you heard about, you know. I bet Bat and Rouge weren't in fucking Kerrang! in 1990. You know, they might have been, but I don't know. It might have been a little piece on them like that big or something because they was talking about other stuff at that time, especially later on. So it's just, you know, if you don't get to hear about them, you won't hear them. But man, what a great song. Bluesy, it's 
got that bluesy feel to it. The chorus is huge. It's like got a real sort of, it lifts up, just like a lot of those melodic hard rock bands do. It just, you know when it's the fucking chorus. Do you know what I mean? I love that when a, when a band goes, right, we're going to give you the chorus now. And you're going to know. You're going to know it's a fucking chorus because it's just going to soar. It's just going to be so different than the rest of the song. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be so hooky and catchy. So absolutely brilliant. Absolutely love it. Um, another long lost, feel bad, make me feel bad song. So thanks for that, Matthias. <laughs> anyway, let's listen to the rest of this. Yeah, man. Great. Absolutely great. Guitar solo was what you would expect. Absolutely amazing. The video fucking cracked me up. What was so scary about guitarists those days? You notice that happened a lot in videos. There's a girl, a woman laying on the bed and then the guitarist would break in and they'd be like, oh, what the fuck was that all about? <laughs> it's fucking cracking me up. The video is just fantastic for its time. Just typical 80s, early 90s videos. Fantastic. Loved everything about it, including the video. Thanks, Matthias. I knew it would be good. Thanks for suggesting this going back in time to 1990 video. Let me know what you think of Baton Rouge. Walks like a woman. Bluesy, infused, heavy rock. Love it. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I'll see you soon.